Okay, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube show me where the oil sensor on a 97 Mercury Calgar uh, XR7 was. So I'm going to make this video real quick and dirty. If you are under the car, I didn't even have to jack the car up. And we're looking at the oil filter right there. If you can see that red elbow looking thing there that's the wire that goes into the oil sensor and uh, uh, apparently you need some special tool to get it out of there but uh, AutoZone is closed and I've got this and this is kind of neat it's just an adjustable wrench but if you look at it it's also a pipe wrench this piece right here will screw all the way out and then you can flip it around to in this case make it back into a normal adjustable wrench now it's real bitch to get to but if you can just get on there a little bit and turn it just a tiny amount which I've already done and by the way this is what the new one looks like I don't know if that's focusing or light going wacky but yeah now the top of it looks like it's threaded and it's not really threaded it's just grooved that little red elbow, that's the wire there, and you can just pop that right off, no big deal. Once you get that sensor to fucking turn, just a tiny bit, am I, okay, I'm going the right way, yep. It ought to be fairly easy, and right now it's not cooperating. I swear to God I turned this thing a minute ago with that wrench, but I might need to do that again and I don't feel the need to waste your time watching that. So, I'm um, probably the world's worst auto mechanic, but sometimes I get things right. I'm going to say once I get that out of there, it'll probably dump oil everywhere, and I don't really want my camera within 10 feet of that. So, uh, uh, I guess all I'm going to say is, um, yeah, it'll probably dump oil. You should probably have a pan under there. Once you get the bastard out, put the new bastard in, and jam that little elbow thing on it. I don't know if yours is going to be red or not. Mine is, which made it easy to see. Thank God. Like I said, I didn't have to jack the car up or anything. Um, maybe if you're a bit uh, fatter than I am, you will. But that's up to you. Be safe. And put everything back the way you found it, I guess.